Hi everyone, it's Darla. It's Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. Today I want to show you a fun way to add texture to your flowers, for your cards, for your scrapbook pages, for the different things, you, your tags, different things you like to make. Um, to get started, I pre-embossed a piece of Early Espresso cardstock with my hammered embossing folder, which is a great embossing folder. I love it. I've also pre-punched some flowers in um, Flirty Flamingo, Bumblebee, and Magenta Madness <laughs> um, with my Small Bloom Punch. I used my Daisy and my Medium Daisy Punch to punch some flowers in Whisper White. I used Thick Cardstock and Mango Melody. And I also cut just a couple of vellum because I want you to see what you can do with vellum as well. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot and we're gonna do some embossing. That's how I like to add texture to my flowers. Now, you can pre-emboss a piece if you have it cut and then punch it out if you like or you can punch them, pre-punch the flowers out like I did and you can just add them to your embossing folder. I'm going to use the um, Tasteful Textile embossing folder and I'm just going to lay the flowers right on top. I want to do all the different colors. So you can see how they turn out. I'm going to do some vellum. And I have a couple of embossing folders. <laughs> Can't pick that up, little brat. <laughs> so um, I want to show you what they look like with the different embossing folders as well. I got room for a couple more. You can be neater about putting them on here and fit a lot more, but. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run it through my embossing, or through my Big Shot. Our new equipment is coming out soon. I can't wait. And look at the texture that that adds to your flowers. Isn't that great? Okay. I especially love the daisies. I just think that look, they look great. And the vellum. Our vellum is such a thick vellum. I wanted to show you that. You can see how thick it is. It's not real thin and flimsy. And it embosses so nicely, it doesn't crack when you emboss it. It's a great great vellum. Stampin' Up! makes great vellum. They make great cardstock too. Did you know that Stampin' Up!'s cardstock is two layers and you can actually um, wad it up. Um, I, that's like to soften it up and then you can pull it apart. I'll have to try that. Maybe when I'm done with this demonstration I'll add it at the end and I'll show you. Okay, next I'm going to use the old word, ah, old world paper embossing folder because I, I just think it's a really cool embossing folder and I want to show you what the flowers look like on that with that texture okay and I'm going to add the vellum pieces And run it through my big shot. Set my, set my big shot aside now. And 
And look at that. Isn't that cool textured to the flowers? I'm gonna set that on this paper so you can see just how fun it is. It really adds to your projects when you add a little texture. Okay, and the cool thing about like the vellum, you can put it over your cardstock and add a little color behind, you know, to add a little color behind it. And then I just like to use my tool to kind of add more dimension to it. <laughs> um, the, another thing I wanted to show you, we these punches have um, ex retired, but they're sizes that I will never get rid of. So I'm sure if you have these punches, they're ones that you'll keep. They're my Stampin' Up! half inch and three quarter inch. And I also kept my one inch because those are just important sizes to me. But so I like to cut a center out of my hammered piece to make the center of my flower. Isn't that pretty? You can also use um, some other great centers are the Gilded Gems. Let me show you. I should have pre-opened these. I was just gonna show you, but I might as well put one on the on a flower. They come in three different sizes, so you can do different. Well, I'm struggling with that. Let's get another one. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingers because that's not cooperating. Um, I'll add it to, what do we wanna add it to? I'll add it to the vellum. You can use the Playing With Pattern resin dots. They're really cute. These little yellow ones would look so cute. Um, again, on the vellum. Or I didn't, I guess I didn't emboss any of the smaller white ones, but they'd look really cute on that as well. And you can mix. You can mix non-embossed and embossed, and it's just whatever you want to do. Super fun, um, super easy, and super quick to make, add texture and some fun things to your cards. <laughs> uh, oh, I wanted to show you. Let me see. I don't have a flower. A big flower punch in my guys that'll take so long so I'm too long so I'm just gonna show you with a circle I'm gonna punch out a circle two and a quarter inch and I'm gonna wad it up and you can see that our paper is two layers I might need to wad it can you see right there So if you did this with a flower, like our new peony, I think it would be pretty to do with that one. I'll try it and make a card and post it. But um, you can take your paper apart and have two layers. You could make a flower out of this circle. And then you can also wad it up some more just to add more texture to it. There's so many fun things that you can do with paper. I hope you'll give it a try. Um, I'll, I'll make some finished cards with these in the next couple of days and put them on my blog at Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. And um, if you like what you saw, hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I, that's all I have for you today. Simple, but fun, and adds a lot of charm and texture to your 
cards or scrapbook pages. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next week with Tuesday's tip.